goes back to what I know is my normal. And that's being institutionalized. That's being, you know, incarcerated, being in prison and just living a structured life that I've lived for so long and like inwardly, subconsciously, like longing for that. Um, and it's funny too, I do Uber. And uh, <laughs> this is, I, I realized this from other people's perspective inside my life. Uh, I think it was actually like two days ago too, you know, uh, Uber is a side hustle for me. And as I'm doing Uber, you know, normally I run that bag up. I'll do like 12 hour shifts and I'm just trying to, you know, run up as much money as I can, you know, from the Uber rides and tips and the promotions that Uber gives and all that. Um, so while I'm driving for Uber, you know, a lot of times I'd be doing like late night shifts. I'll drive from like 3 p.m. all the way to like three in the morning, like 12 hour shifts, I think is the longest they give you. So sometimes I go to like five or six and I keep in my trunk um, a whole case of ramen noodle soups. I won't eat the uh, like the original ramen anymore. Like I remember when I first came home, it's like, yo, I vowed to myself never again in life will I eat another ramen noodle soup just because uh, I've been like forced to eat that for so many years. Uh, but just being home and with the, the responsibility of rent and kids, you know, trying to market my music and my businesses and things like that. It's like, yo, like financially, like I'm not there yet to where I got to I got to be very fugal. I got to be wise with my finances. So like a healthy alternative rather than like just the, re the regular original ramen soup. I've been eating the cup ramen because those taste better. They're like more exclusive. So I keep a case of those in my trunk at all times. And uh, I'll just stop at a gas station. I'll get hot water and I'll put it in the cup and I'll let it sit. And I'll even buy like hot Cheetos from the gas station or I'll get like a little Slim Jim where it comes with like the sausage and the cheese. So I'll just like bust the chips down. I'll pour it in the ramen noodle uh, cup as well as bite up the sausage and the cheese and drop it in there and stir it up. And I'm driving these people. It's like a couple. I pick them up from a restaurant. And while I'm driving at a stoplight, I'm eating. And I think I ran out of uh, Cheetos in the ramen noodle soup. So I bust them down a little bit, pour them in there and <laughs> get the guy. He calls me out on it. He's like, he's like, yo, did you just put like Cheetos in your in your soup? I'm like, yeah. So he's like, bro, that's savage. And, you know, she's laughing. He's laughing. And um, they were just like inquiring like about like my health and do I live in my car? And uh, I also got a little sign on the back of the headrest that has, has like a QR code to where they can scan it and it'll take them to my link tree, promotes my music, you know, my YouTube and, you know, everything I'm doing in ministry. It says, ask me about my story. Just so I can share the testimony, share the gospel, things like that. Um, so I'm like, yo, it, it would help you understand more if you know my story. You know, I share my testimony. I share what the Lord's done in my life. But I ultimately share with them, yo, I just did 12 years in prison. And the reason why I say all this is because that in itself not really even being aware of, of me. Of course, I know, like, it's you know, common sense. Like, I know, like, I'm in survival mode. I got freaking ramen noodle cup and Cheetos, you know, kind of making a little goulash in the car while I drive. But I'm not really thinking of it as being institutionalized. But whenever they called me out on it and they were aware of it, in that moment, again, I began to reflect and laugh about it after the left. But I thought about it. I'm like, dang, that is, like, you know, another evidence and proof of me being institutionalized. Uh, but yo, in all actuality, like I think it's a benefit, you know what I mean? As far as, uh, of course, there's negative effects of being institutionalized. 